Every time somebody says that Excel has a plethora of tools at your disposal, they weren't joking. In this video, we are going to talk about a small tool you can use to spice up your spreadsheets that will surely leave a big check mark in the long list of the Excel tools you know how to use. This video is all about check boxes. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Simple Sheets for more Excel content. Checkboxes are really great additions to forms and dashboards. A lot of people know of these merely as an aesthetic piece which would be great on maybe like a form or if you want to create a checklist on Excel. But did you know you can integrate the checkboxes in your Excel formulas to automate certain processes? To get things started, we first need to get a checkbox in our spreadsheet. We can do that through the developer tab found on our ribbon. In case you don't already have your developer tab present, here's what you need to do. Go to the file menu options and in the right pane, click the customize ribbon and tick the developer checkbox here. Now to insert the checkbox, head over to the developer tab then insert and click on the check box icon. You'll see your cursor change and when you click on the spreadsheet, you will have your check box inserted. You can see that it functions like a normal check box and you can start using it to create forms and such. To take these a step further, we can link them to cells so that whether they're ticked or not, they return a true or false value. To do that, right click on the checkbox and select Format Control. In the Cell Link field, specify the cell that you want the return values in. Click OK and see that the cell you specified changes depending on if the checkbox is ticked or not. A great example of what you can use this on is a simple attendance sheet. Over here we have the ID number in the first column, followed by the name and whether or not they are present. We can add the checkbox here to indicate that the person is present or absent. So we input the checkbox using the developer tab, then insert and click in the cell to insert our checkbox. We want to automate this so we can count the attendance automatically. So we right click on our checkbox and select format control. Let's go ahead and input the cell H2 into the cell link. We can see that the linked cell shows true or false depending on the checkbox. Obviously true or false values aren't the most pleasing things to see on a spreadsheet. So let's nest that in an if statement. Type in cell C2 this formula. Equals if open parentheses H2 equals true, comma, present, comma, absent, close parentheses. Depending on the check value, it appears present or absent. Do that a bunch of times for all the people in the list and change the text color or hide the column that we linked to the checkboxes and there you have it. To finish things off, we can get the totals using simple Excel formulas. To get the total number of students, we can use the COUNTIF function, which basically counts all the values in a cell reference. To get the total number of present and absent, we can use the COUNTIF function, which counts the instances that a specified value occurs. Select the proper range and tell it to look for the words present and absent, respectively by putting them in quotation marks. There are countless ways that you can use checkboxes in your spreadsheets. You can use them for aesthetic purposes or add a dash of useful automation to them. You know what else is even better? Having the checkboxes already there in your dashboard. A great example of this is our invoice template, where you can create checkboxes for your invoice sheets so that all you have to do is 
print the sheet out. Be sure to check Simple Sheets and see all our automated dashboards go to work just for you. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to Simple Sheets for more Excel content. I'll see you guys on the next one.